Is this the town that's turned the tide on three-party politics for good? Clacton was known for its beach and its pier. Now it's also on the map as the place which put UKIP into Parliament. So why here and why now? Maggie and Mark used to vote Labour. They didn't yesterday. It all boils down to the immigration laws and the state the country's in. I think that was the biggest way because he had such strong ideas on that. I think a lot of people think, well, um, hell yeah, let's try something fresh, let's try something new. I hope the public are actually going to have a voice this time. Instead of being prote or pretending to listen, yet no problem, going in one ear, falling straight out of the other. That's Cameron's views. He's only interested in himself. But with a general election coming in May, a vote yesterday can in theory be undone in seven months' time. So will people here stick with UKIP next year? If it was a general election, would you vote the same way? I like Douglas as a candidate, but I'd have to examine the policies because Europe is a big issue. Yeah, I would stick with UKIP, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Why? Because I believe in them. I think we need new blood. I believe in a lot of their policies. Not all of them, but, but you know, 90% of them. What if this town's swing to UKIP happened all over the UK? Would the converts on Clacton's golf course today trust Nigel in number 10? Well, probably yes, provided that he does what he says. And, of course, we've got to see because there's a lot of things that he hasn't even mentioned yet. So you want a bit more detail? Oh, I do need more detail before uh, May, yes, absolutely. He's the normal man in the street. Can you see him outside number 10 for the photographers? What, with his cigarette and his pint of beer? Yeah, well, possibly, you know. People in Clacton-on-Sea told me they felt forgotten by Westminster. British politics will remember the choice they've made here for a very long time. Dominic Reynolds, 5 News in Clacton-on-Sea.